Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So there has been a new tag floating around the YouTube and everyone that I watch I like more and more. So I decided to copy the questions and go ahead and do it myself. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is the TMI tag. I have all the questions here on my phone and there's quite a few of them. Let's just get right into this so that it doesn't take forever because that would be boring. Honestly, the most basic things today. I'm wearing this white, kind of like long sleeve tank top from Target. And then I have on gray leggings and just some um, knee high socks that say love on them. Yes, I have been in love. In fact, I'm in love right now. So I guess that counts for something, doesn't it? Well, I've had a terrible divorce and a terrible breakup. So yes, definitely. I am five foot two and a half, and lots of the videos that I've been watching, there have been people talking about that half inch there. Uh, Miss Glamorati talked about it, Rachel Loves talks about it, and I am five foot two and a half, and that half really does matter, trust me, it matters to us. If you don't know already, I'm on a huge weight loss kick this year, so I'll link some videos down below to my other channel where I'm doing weight loss videos and you can follow me there. I am currently at 222, and my goal weight is 140 by the end of this year. I have one tattoo, it's very hard to show you so I'm not going to attempt. It's on my back right shoulder and it's of a butterfly. <laughs> pairing, and mine is going to surprise a lot of people. Mine is Sophia Bush and if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I think it's Chad Michael Murray. They were on One Tree Hill together, they played Brooke and Lucas. And I truly believe that Brooke and Lucas have always belonged together. And in the end, when he chose Peyton, my heart was broken. So, yeah, that's my one true pairing. I know, I'm kind of a loser. My current favorite show, I can't even pick one. I watch so much TV, honestly. I love nighttime TV. My favorite shows are Dr. Phil, Do Not Judge Me. Everybody watches a little Dr. Phil here and there. Grey's Anatomy, I love Grey's Anatomy. And if you didn't watch last night's episode, spoiler, spoiler, I am so happy that Jackson and Kepner are together. That like makes me so incredibly happy. It's not even funny. Good Wife. The Good Wife is my favorite show of all time. I've been watching it from season one. I love it. My current favorite band is King of the Kid. I actually use all of their music on my videos. I've met them. They were here in Vancouver. They are some of the nicest guys I've ever met. I'll link their YouTube site right about here. They've got a new album coming out and they're touring. They're amazing. Go check out their stuff. I miss roller derby. I played roller derby for a long time and I loved it and then I got pregnant again and so I stopped playing and I had Paxton and I've never quite gotten myself back to it. So I really miss roller derby. My favorite current song is Sarah Bareilles' song Brave. You say what you want to say and let the words fall out. Honestly. Okay, enough of that. I'm going to be 32 this summer, which is actually, in my world, 29 for the fourth time, if anybody asks. I am a Cancer, and while I don't entirely believe in astrology and signs, if you look up the definition of a Cancer, that's pretty much me to a T. So yeah, I'm a Cancer through and through. Honesty. I'd say honesty is the most important thing in any relationship. Friendships, boyfriend, girlfriends, husband, wives, whatever. Honesty. Favorite quote would probably be this one right here. Would have to be Ryan Reynolds. I love him in almost all of his movies. I loved him in Green Lantern and I loved him in the one with Sandra Bullock, The Proposal. I just really love him as an actor. I think he's amazing. I would have to say it used to be pink. Pink was like everything for me. Everything became pink. And as I've gotten a little bit older, I would have to say that this color behind me here has kind of taken over my life a little. I love teal, teal nail polishes, teal clothing. I just really enjoy that color in general, so teal. Totally depends on what I'm doing. Driving in the car, it is always cranked. The boys and I are always dancing. At home, it's generally on a more lower level to my boys. Honestly, when I am sad, hugs from my children just make me beyond happy. That is my happy place, is playing with them, hugging them, getting them to kiss me. Yeah, I'm one of those moms I pull that card. 
Showered is simple, I'm in and out. I take baths about three days a week. I really like soaking in the tub. I don't wash my hair, but I love soaking in the tub and those take forever. I generally watch a Netflix movie, but showering, honestly, I'm in and out in about 10 minutes. I just like to lather hair and get out of there. Seconds. Having two kids means that me getting ready has to be as quick as physically possible because getting two of them ready takes a lot of my time. So I either have to get up super early, which I don't want to do, so I just have learned to get myself ready really fast. If I have something big going on that day and I'm putting on makeup, maybe an hour, like everything, shower, dress, change, makeup, maybe an hour. Yes I have, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Confidence and humor. Confidence and humor are my top two. I think my biggest turn off is probably arrogance. I don't like people who are super, super cocky. They really annoy me. So originally I joined YouTube because I was a bored stay at home mom many, many years ago and needed something to do and it took off like crazy. Then I left YouTube because the bullying got to be a little bit much and I think that that has changed a lot because now there are communities of people who will stop it. I think that's really important. And the second time I joined YouTube was because as a makeup artist, this is a really fun way to get my ideas out there, the products that I like out there, and I really like talking to you guys. Spiders and walking alone in the dark. Isn't that crazy? I cannot go for a walk at night by myself, even like if I'm walking past in the stroller, I always think I'm hearing footsteps. I think I'm paranoid. Paxton, smucking me in the face with the iPad. Oh yeah, made my nose bleed, that was a good day. About 10 minutes ago. So my YouTube name kind of became like a series of names. So I have Tanya Talks Makeup, I have Tanya Talks Beauty, I have Tanya Talks Weight, and I have Tanya Just Talks. And it was supposed to be like this world where I had all these different channels and I had all these different videos. And as I started doing it, I realized that's not realistic. So I only use this one, Tanya Talks Makeup, which is basically all beauty and makeup. And I use Tanya Just Talks for vlogging and everything else. Does Audible count? <laughs> I don't really read. It's not something I have a lot of time to do. I would say the last book I read was probably The Hunger Games, and that was probably three years ago. The last book I listened to was Divergent. The book I'm currently reading is Divergent. I'm still like half of the way through it on Audible. I'm not really reading it. That's kind of a lie. But I am listening to it and that should count for something. The last show I watched was last night, I watched Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Marcel, who's currently talking in the background, so technically I'm still talking to him at this very moment. Well, I just got a text from my landlord letting me know that he was gonna be here to finish the basement stuff. Um, we're finishing off a one bedroom suite in our basement, so yeah, my landlord, who just texted me again. Currently, um, not much. <laughs> I'm doing Atkins, so currently I would have to say the Atkins Nutty Fudge Brownie. I'm pretty much obsessed with those. And as far as like once all my weight is gone, what my favorite food was when I was a big girl, or when I have no more weight to lose, uh, it is probably the deep fried mac and cheese from, Fox Reach, which, from Fox's Reach Pub, which is located close to where I live. And I absolutely love their deep fried mac and cheese. It is amazing. London. I'm dying to go to the UK. I have never been. That is like the one place in my life that I want to go see. My kitchen. <laughs> Does that count? Last place I traveled to was probably Las Vegas, which was in November. I have lots of crushes. I dream of marrying Ryan Reynolds often. I dream of marrying Ryan, Ryan Gosling often. I think I have a thing for guys named Ryan. 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago? No, more like 10 seconds ago. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming this is the UK tag because that's kind of how they talk. So my favorite candy is, what is my favorite candy? Chocolate. Does chocolate count as a candy? Anything chocolate, especially those chocolate bars. Okay, okay, I got one for the UK people who are watching this. Timeout bars because they're only available in the UK. They're not available in Canada or the United States anymore. So timeout bars is number one. And for all of us Canadian United States people who can have a timeout bar, probably Heath bars, which are also not available in Canada. Heath or whatchamacallit. Anything that's chocolate. Chocolate is just my thing. My voice. 
I play that well. My favorite piece of jewelry is a beautiful blue topaz ring that my son got me for Mother's Day. Now my son of course did not get it for me, but he picked it out and it is my favorite thing. Roller derby. Not a big sport person, but roller derby is one of my favorites. Uh, rewind back to like question number, I don't know, eight, which is what is your, your current favorite song? I'll insert. Favorite chat up line, which again is UK for favorite pickup line in Canadian American. I'm gonna start calling it Canadian American, it's a new language. My favorite pickup line. Okay, Marcel's contribution is Are you tired? Because you've been running through my mind all day. I think the best pickup line, like honestly, genuinely, is to tell, like, walk up to a girl and be like, I think you're really beautiful. Can I have your phone number? That would get you numbers, let me tell you. Hell no. I have never used a pickup line. In fact, I have never really picked up guys. So, yeah, no pickup lines don't work for me. My kids, I hang out with them often. Does that count? Other than that, it was probably, I went to a pub with Jessica for dinner. So, I don't know when that was though. Probably a couple weeks ago. All of you, if you've taken the time to watch this video, make your own because I will take the time to watch yours. I'm really enjoying these. So that was completely 50 random questions and totally a useless time waste of your time. But I hope you learned a lot about me and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.